My name is Al Norman. I'm a senior experimental test pilot here at the Lockheed Martin Corporation, and I represent our fifth generation aircraft. As a test pilot, I've been working on the F-22 program, flying since 1999. Since that time, I have about 650 hours in the F-22. For the past couple years, I've been taking that experience as a test pilot and bringing that to the F-35 flight test program. When I think of fifth generation fighters, here's what I think about. Stealth, the ability to not be seen. Aerodynamics that no other aircraft has. The ability of the pilot to have knowledge that no one else has by use of integrated avionics. And the ability for us to keep the airplanes flying because of our supportability and maintainability that's better than previous fighters. Fifth generation fighters give us the capability to have what we call air dominance. Not just the ability to shoot another fighter down, not just the ability to destroy a surface to air missile, but the ability for us to control and maintain control of airspace anytime, any place, anywhere. That's air dominance. When we talk about stealth or low observability, and we talk about advanced stealth, what we're talking about is taking that low observability from its first steps. For example, with the SR-71, how we kind of blended the body a bit, how we painted it. Moving to the 117, where we started to put angles together until we got to the F-22 and the F-35, where we've designed in from the beginning the ability to keep weapons inside, angles and blending in such a way to make ourselves very hard to see, and still maintain extreme fighter performance capabilities. When we talk about air dominance, one of the airplanes we're talking about is the F-22. We can fly higher and faster than any other fighter. We can super cruise or go faster than 1.5 times the speed of sound without the use of our afterburner. I first knew that I was in a different animal, a different beast in the F-22. The very first time I had a chase airplane flying circles around me and I was just dancing on the tail. The very first time that I could point the nose anywhere the chase airplane was going, I could keep my nose pointed at him. At that moment I knew that the F-22 was just a quantum leap in capability. The performance of the F-35 is outstanding. In fact, the benefits of the F-35 are so great in its aerodynamic performance, it's eye-watering. I can carry so much fuel in the F-35, I can have an extended range compared to other aircraft. I keep all my weapons internally so I don't pay a drag penalty when I'm flying around. I have systems and sensors within the airplane that make it so I don't even have to maneuver. I can look and shoot without having to do much maneuvering. The sensors and the sensor fusion capability on the F-22 and F-35 allow us to have complete situational awareness 360 degrees around the aircraft. That situational awareness, that intelligence, that surveillance, that reconnaissance, we can send that information not only to other fighters within our group, in other words, people that are going the other way can see behind them and we can see what they're seeing. But we can take that information and send it to the guys on the ground that are actually marching into a firefight and give them real-time, real-world information to save their lives. Not only has our ability changed in the way that we fight the war, but our ability has changed in the way that we maintain the aircraft that go fight the war. Fifth generation aircraft are so smart they tell the maintainers what's wrong with them, where they're sick, what system needs to be replaced. In fact, they can even do that before we land, so that the part that we need is ready for us when we pull into the chocks, they plug it in, and we're on our way. I'm always amazed when I walk through the factory, and I see the robotics manufacturing an airplane, putting together these advanced composites, making a wing, taking the wing and putting it together with the mid-fuselage and putting that together with the cockpit. All of a sudden, boom, out the end of the factory comes an airplane that they give me to go fly. Every day that I go out to fly, every day I strap one of these fifth generation airplanes on my back. Every day I light 70,000 pounds of thrust to jump me off the ground and into the sky. 
Every time I do one of those things, I'm still in awe of what we've created. And I'm thankful that they're ours. I'm thankful that for my kids and my kids' kids, these aircraft are on our side.